So we'll discuss the finer points of the weak form later on in module three, but for now permit the following. We have some sort of weak form solution of the PDE, which is an integral over our global domain here, omega, of our solution times some test function. And we haven't described what this test function is, and or, nor have we described why this particularly works. Like I said, we'll defer that to a later discussion, but for now, permit it. So in DG, the global domain is actually then split up into, call it big K elements. So we can imagine if we have one a one-dimensional domain, here's our, our full global domain between these two bounds. We split it up into some amount of elements. So in this case, imagine we split it into four elements. So in comparison to the finite element, of it, finite element approach, rather than having a globally defined set of polynomials, we look at only one particular element and define the local approximation on that element. So let's say this thick element here. So then the global solution that we recover from DG will be some combination of each of these local polynomials. In comparison to finite element approach, however, we don't necessarily require continuity between the local solution approximations between elements. So we could, as an example then, have some sort of, imagine that these are two elements here. We could have some sort of local solution here and some sort of local solution here with this discontinuity. 